this is doctrinal false dichotomies number one, lordship salvation versus easy believism. So what you have here is you have a false dichotomy. People will say either your lordship salvation or your easy believism. I'm going to show you from the Bible that Bible believing Christians are neither one. We're not lordship salvation, which is a work salvation, and we're not easy believism, which is, which is also work salvation when it comes down to it. So lordship salvation refuted. Let me show you that. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each of these false dichotomies in Christianity and basically show verses refuting each one of them and showing you how if you're a Bible-believing Christian, you don't take either one of those stances. You're right in the middle. Uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse number 21. This is Lordship Salvation Refuted. Because what Lordship Salvation teaches is that basically you have to clean up your life and you have to be holy and then you get saved. So basically Jesus, Jesus dying on the cross was not enough. You have to basically merit your own salvation by doing holiness and living right and that kind of stuff. It's work salvation. I mean, they deny it. They, they try to deny it, but it is work salvation because your salvation is dependent on you having to do something instead of just simply what Christ did on the cross. For, uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21. For he hath made him to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Talking about Jesus dying on the cross. What is it saying here? Well, the context of this passage is talking about Christ being our substitute on the cross. This is what this verse is talking about. Christ was our substitute. He took our place on the cross. So there's no need for us to have to live holy to be saved because Christ, again, it says, we might be made the righteous, righteousness of God in him. You see, we don't make ourselves righteous. It's Christ that makes us the righteousness of God. And you know, you can read Romans chapter 4 and Romans chapter 5. Romans 4 talks about how Christ's righteousness is imputed unto us, something that Lordship Salvationists reject. Like Jesse Morrell and these other uh, jerks and bozos and, and Catholics, essentially, they're teaching Roman Catholicism. Uh, they basically deny that Jesus, that his righteousness is imputed unto us. Jesse Morrell openly says that imputed righteousness is a myth and that basically salvation is, is us having to make ourselves righteous. I mean, th this is not any different than what the Roman Catholics teach of you having to die in a state of grace. It's no different. Now, easy believism, what does this teach? Well, there's no repentance, none of that, you just believe. And there's no conviction of sins, none of that stuff, it's just you simply believe. And then, that's it. That's wrong too. Let me show you. Acts chapter 20, because repentance is part of the gospel. Acts chapter 20, verse number 21. Testifying both to the Jews and also to the Greeks, repentance towards God, you turn towards God, and faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ. Repentance of faith, two different things. Repentance towards God, you turn towards God and away from your self-righteousness and put your faith in Jesus Christ. Repentance is part of the gospel. This, this belief only stuff is not biblical. Now, people will say, again, well, here's what they do. If you say that belief is not, belief alone is not biblical, they'll say, oh, your lordship salvation. Again, repentance goes right along with belief. You turn towards God, you turn away from yourself and turn towards God and you put your faith in Jesus Christ. And of course, Romans 10, 13, you call upon the name of the Lord to be saved as, as a natural reaction to you getting saved and, and just having your self-righteousness broken. So this is the first video of do doctrinal false dichotomies. This is Lordship, Salvation, and Easy Believism refuted. God bless you. Goodbye.